We at Payless wondered how much people would pay for our shoes if they didn't know they were our shoes. So we rebranded for a weekend. Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy ACL Official back with another video. Now, before I go ahead and play the rest of that video clip, let me give you a bit of context into what's going on. So obviously everyone knows luxury brands have very high prices. For example, you've got brands like Christian Louboutin selling trainers for 2000 pounds. You've got Balenciaga selling the triple S's for around 700. And over time, it's pretty much become the norm to equate high prices with luxury products. Now, three months ago, Payless, which is a low-cost footwear retailer over in the US, they went ahead and tested this theory. What they did was rebrand their entire store and the name, and they also increased their prices a lot, and the results are quite interesting. So what I'm going to do now is play you the rest of the clip, and I'll be back in a minute. We at Payless wondered how much people would pay for our shoes if they didn't know they were our shoes. So we rebranded for a weekend. We built a fake luxury store, filled it with avant-garde sculptures and displays. We even hired a full team of sales associates. Then we filled all the shelves with Payless shoes and jacked up our prices as much as 1,800%. And finally, we gave it what you might call a fancier name. Welcome to Palessi. Palessi is just such high quality, high fashion. It's taking your shoe game like up to the next level. It's like very, you know, European, very, you know, upscale. The guests at the Palessi grand opening party had no idea any of these shoes were from Payless. It looks really well made. I love a heel that's kind of chunky because it means you can like jump up and down, do some backflips maybe. It's a stunner. It's one of those shoes that you're just going to get compliments on over and over again. Elegant, sophisticated, and versatile. For me to experience this as an Italian designer is amazing. I could definitely wear this to like a Met Gala dinner. I just think it's so unique. I would definitely spend $2.95 on a pump like this. I would pay like three, dollars $400 for these shoes for sure. I'd probably spend about 500 on this. Compliments are great and all. But would these fashionista influencer types open up their wallets for our shoes? We watched from room backstage as our first customer approached the register. We all celebrated the first sale, but then we witnessed more and more shoes selling. Shoes sold for $250, $400, and even $600. But before any of them left, we let them know the shoes were actually from Payless. What? No way. You've got to be kidding me. Shut up. Are you serious? No. Wait, did I just pay too much? <laughs> I love Christian Siriano. Oh, I would support this. Anyone who bought the shoes got them from us as a free gift, but we proved that they could sell for over 10 times the normal Payless price. Now anyone can come into Payless and get these same exact shoes for as low as $19.99. I am very, very happy with this purchase and I will be going to pay less. Now we all know that was probably a lie. She probably just said that for the cameras. I doubt very much she will be shopping at Payless, mainly because as that clip just showed, people care a lot more about the brand image and in some cases the prices, more so than they do about the actual product and the quality of it. Even though this is nothing new, it does make you think a bit more about the whole situation. So if we look at it in reverse and start with a luxury brand, for example, Gucci, take a few of their products, for example, the Wash Logo t-shirt or the Ace Trainers, you'll see that they're not really luxury items, they're just priced very highly. But because of Gucci's brand image, they'll get categorized as luxury products and a lot of buyers just buy them because of that. This won't be the case for every luxury brand, of course. Some do have legitimate reasons as to why their prices are quite high. Last year, Business Insider spoke directly to Dave Mosquito, who's the co-owner of Leather Spa. They work directly with Christian Louboutin, and he shed some light on why the shoes might be quite expensive. I mean, there's a lot of things that go into the design of a shoe and the making of a shoe. Um, most importantly, I think, is who's designing it, who's manufacturing it, and also what materials they're using to make the shoes. Whichever way you look at it, the debate surrounding luxury brand product quality and the prices are gonna be going on forever. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Don't forget to leave a like, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you again on the next video.